All right, so going into school, right, high school, middle school, can be kind of hard, right? So, as a, I'll give you my experience, some advice from someone who's, I'd say, middle management in the school hierarchy, the social hierarchy pyramid, all right, with okay grades. Going to school, right, one of the most important things you can do is have friends. Now. It can be quite hard to make friends, right? Not that hard. But moderately difficult. The easier said, though. If you can go into your school with like, with friends from primary school, right? Elementary, I mean. It can be very useful right, to not having to make new friends. Or if you want to... Or if you don't like them. If you don't like those friends. Or you're a transfer or an international student. Making friends can is very important. Being alone at school can feel very, can feel horrible, right? In my experience, personally, having to sit alone during lunch and recess, it's just a horrible feeling. So making friends is very important. Now, you don't want the force to make friends, right? So something you can do is get someone, if you like, say you overhear someone, right? Say something. And if that's like a common like a common thing people will tell you to do is talk about like things you have in common, right? That's a very good strategy to make friends. Like say one of my friends, right? How I got like I started talking to him is that I overheard him talking about like, micro bedwars, right? And then I just uh, I had a conversation about that. It's very good if you want to talk to. It's a very good strategy to uh, to use your commonalities to make a friendship with someone. Talk about what the like things you do, right? Some things that are in, like po like the popular thing these days, right? There's like Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever. That that will be very good if for you. Now, first impressions are very important. Doubly so if you're going to a, a school where you don't have anyone you know before. If you fuck up your first impression, you will have a harder time to make friends. Of course, first impressions aren't everything. You would have to, like... First impressions don't last forever. But if... For some people who don't know you too well, right... If all the only impression they have of you is your first impression, that's not good if that first impression is negative. You shouldn't be too pushy, too obnoxious, right? Like, the first impression I've had of some people, right? They can change, they can change. Like, one of the people I knew, right? He was, uh, our first impression of him was gonna be like this, uh, nerdy guy, right? Well, he's become like a real, <laughs> become a menace, basically. So, first impressions aren't everything, but they're definitely something. Now, you should do well to keep your friends. Of course, to use an example, right? If you want, there are a lot of people in this world, right, that are going to be annoying, obnoxious, whatever. You just have to deal with them. Because if, because no one in this world will be your type of person to down to like down to a T it, that's just not how the world works of course so what all you have to do and sometimes you just have to you just have to deal with it you, to keep a friendship right you just need to be understanding of people don't be too pushy you don't you want to be natural right You don't want to be too open to people, right? Because you might not know their, like, how far you can talk to them with, right? How far you can take it. So, there's this, there's this Japanese saying, right? You have three faces. The one you show to the world, the one the, you show to your close friends and your family. And the third face, you don't show to anyone, right? I'll be using that saying to kind of describe it. You have a face, right? To the teachers... To the teachers and like the people you don't know. Yeah, you're like, 
you know, you're polite, not too confrontational, right? Like, you don't want to, like, make them angry. With your friends, right? You'll, you'll have a close, you'll be able to be, you're more expressive, less restricted, because you know your boundaries more, right? Imagine the halfway point for that, right? That's for what I'd say are your less close friends, or people you're trying to make friends with. Because if you're just, if you keep it too distant, they'll be thinking that they don't want to be friends with you, stuff like that, you know? So don't be too cold, right? Know your boundaries. Don't be too far. Now, another thing you should try to do, right, is that you shouldn't be very paranoid of people. This could apply to more making friends, right? But it also fits for keeping friends. As an anecdote, there's this guy, right? He's always second-guessing himself. He's very anxious about people, like, hating him or plotting against him, right? Don't be like that guy. If everyone think if you think everyone's plotting against you, right? People won't like you because you're too paranoid. It's not a good thing to be very paranoid, people. That that because that makes people think that you don't like them. And as a result, they're probably not like you in return. So don't be very paranoid, very suspicious. Because most of the time not everyone is plotting against you, right? So another part about school is of course the academic aspect. Don't forget the academic aspect of school. Because it's quite important, right, to stay in school. You shouldn't just drop for no reason, right? Because whatever you want to be, it's very unlikely that you can get there without trying to study at least a bit. Right? Most jobs will need at least a high school level education. Because low skill and low skill labor, right, isn't very is gonna be very sustainable. So whatever you do, just stay in school, right? Also, if you do well in your test or whatever, people won't give you shit about that, you know? Now, let me tell you something about school. You want to talk to girls, right? Most people do. Yeah, you don't have to be dishonest about it, right? Like, it's pretty obvious. Now, let me tell you something. You should not try to cater to girls or whatever too much. That's... That's kind of dumb. And usually a waste of time. Because in my experience, right? Well, my experience isn't worth much. So I'll take that with a grain of salt. But you shouldn't try to cater to them that much, right? They probably won't talk to you. They have their own friend groups, you know? And most of the time, they don't intermingle. In some cases, they do. But they usually don't. Let me give you an example, right? In my class, one time in English, that doesn't matter, we had the tables were set up in two long rows, right? Do you want to know how that was, the gender setup was? One big, one big table was boys, one big table was girls, okay? So that's just that. Uh, now, my problem is trying to start a conversation. So I can't help you with that. But con maintaining a conversation, keeping one going, I can... I have some advice. You should not. You should not treat them as something special. Of course, you treat them distinct from your friends, your boys, right? Like going back to the mosque, they're, they're midway between teachers and to teachers and your friends. Because if you just go into the deep end, right, talking to them as well your boys, you probably, uh, you know, like, you might kind of... Say something wrong, right? So don't do that. Trying to keep a conversation going is it's hard. But let me let me express this to you. There's two things you can do, right? You want to avoid the awkward silence as much as possible. So let me dis let me tell you how to do that. There are two ways you can do this, right? You can do a soft redirect, right? where you change the flow of the conversation to something else by basing it off the past topic or you can do the hard re uh, you can do a hard redirect which is something completely alien right and that's basically the hard redirect basically goes uh hey do you know about this thing right I instead of going instead of going from like the past conversation you just go from something different where a soft redirect right basically oh yeah you know 
you know that uh how do i put this it'd be basically going from um say you're talking about i don't know food or something right so you're saying hey you, you like the new burger place right oh yeah that's pretty cool so do you like the oh do you also know that pizza place that that's a soft food Eric. it's a lot more natural of course you can both use these two things and it'll work effectively if you're good at talking right but it's just something good to know now getting to school is also a part of it right let me tell you something this is my personal experience so it might vary from yours here's a strategy right for the bus people don't immediately go for the front seats it's really strange right but i've noticed it takes about six people six or so people before someone takes the front seat so if you and when so you should aim for that front seat right preferably not behind the driver since you can't see the front but the but that's the one i've noticed people don't go to as much and it's also like a direct straight door to the it's like a turn from the door take a right into the left it's basically it's really natural flow you can just go in and slip in it's pretty good now another thing about the when the bus pulls in right you want to stay close next to the like the signboard thingy the little pole thingy with all the date with all the schedule on it because that's where the they'll usually align the front of the bus to that thing and that means that if you're standing at the front of it, of the line with everyone, you'll get your first spot on the bus. So if you want to go to the front, if you take the strategy of going to the front immediately, or you can just go to the back, whatever. It's a lot easier. Now sometimes, the bus might pull in further from that, in which case you might want to move over. But what you should do is you should try to stay at the front of the line with everyone. It's not a line. It's more like a grouping. It's more of a blob of people. Now, pushing into the blob is pretty hard. And coming in when you're not from the closer front is pretty bad. So what you should do is you should you should uh, position yourself close to the side of the blob, right? From the front. Try and get in close to the front. When people go in, right? You should you shouldn't try and go in for pushes because the average bus, right? I'd say has only room for one and a bit people, right, going in at a time. So don't push it. That's not going to work. Just go in from the front and slowly go through. Sometimes you have to uh, concede up, like, space to the front. But that's okay, since if you're going to go to the front of the bus, then you should have that spot anyways, you know? So that should be, that's some advice I've got for going into school. Maybe you'll find it useful, maybe you won't. Hey, maybe you will. So uh, come back next time when I talk about why, uh, why I'm lazy and I don't upload very much. Bye.